In this video, we're going to create webbings. Webbings are supports that we create inside of objects to add extra strength. So if I hide the top of this object right here, you will notice that we have the thin walls right here. They are three millimeters thick. And then what I want to do is I want to create walls, support walls that are going to go from one side to another side. I want to select left to right so that they can add strength to this shape right here. To do that, we need to create a sketch on a plane that's above this object. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to construct and I'm going to select offset plane and I'm going to offset this plane based on the X Z plane. And I'm going to push this plane up so that it goes right to the edge of this object, not past the object, but right to the edge of the object because this is where we're going to draw our curve on this plane right here. So I want to keep it really close to the edge of the object. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see the offset plane right here is right on the side of our object. I'm going to go to display settings, visual style, shade it with hidden edges so we can see the inside edges. And this is our plane right here. So let's go ahead and create a sketch on this plane. I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to go to create sketch and I'm going to select this plane right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a simple line. So I'm going to go to line and I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to hit OK, go right mouse button. OK to get out of the tool. I can select this point right here, right mouse button, and I'm going to go to move and copy and I'm going to move it down. So that is inside of the object and it's not intersecting the walls. It's not touching the walls as you can see. I'm going to finish my sketch and I'm going to go to create web and it's going to ask me to select the curve. So I'm going to select this curve right here. And as soon as I do that, notice that it is going to create the webbing. Our options is that we can increase the wall thickness. So if I type in six, I'm going to get a six millimeter webbing. Under depth options, we're going to keep it to two next. Let me change my thickness to three. And I'm going to hit OK. And we have a webbing that goes from one side of the object to the other side of the object. Our limitations with webbing has to do with the movement of the curve. If I select the plane and then I go back to sketch, select the plane to sketch on, and then I select my line tool. And let's say that we create a webbing that's going to go from here to here. Let's click on the OK. And now I'm going to finish my sketch. You will notice that when you select this curve right here, let's go to our right view and you rotate it. When I try to create a webbing, I'm not able to select this curve. I'm going to hit cancel. So you have to remember that when you create a sketch on a plane to create a webbing, you cannot modify the curve. So we are going to now create a webbing that's going to go from left to right. So let's go to create sketch. Let's select our offset plane. And let's go ahead, select the line tool. And we're going to draw from here to here. Remember, you don't have to connect the curve to the edges of your object. And we're going to go to create web. Now I can select this curve right here. And as soon as I do that, notice that the webbing went from this face right here to the opposite side. And it also connected to the first webbing that we created. We're going to click on OK. And this is how you create webbings in Fusion 360.